Hey guys, Ben with Big Stuff 3 here. How you doing? Wanted to make another video here on the generic port editor. Um, really a cool feature about the Gen 4. Um, it's going to give you some pretty powerful capability as far as testing outputs, taking over outputs to do whatever you want to do. But before I actually ha have fired up the software, I want to give you a real quick introduction to actually how it hooks up to the Wi-Fi. We've talked about this before, but just so you see it, how it actually works. You've got a Wi-Fi little router that's in the truck. It's powered up off the cigarette lighter or 12 volts, however you want to do it. And you actually connect to it. Once you're connected to the network, because we're talking Wi-Fi, you can go to the Gen 4 system. And it's going to fire up. And this first screen that you're going to see here is actually going to have your MAC address, an IP address, your name, and obviously um, the uh, Gen 4 connection point. The MAC address is just simply the Ethernet connection uh, of this ECU, the network connection itself. Every ECU that we ship out is going to have its own unique MAC address. So that way, uh, when you plug in, uh, we know whose cell number is assigned to what. IP address is provided by Windows here. And as you can see here, because the ECU is on, it's connect. Uh, the connect button's ready to go, and it's looking for, it's always looking forward to, that's what this bar going back and forth is. It's always trying to connect to the ECU when you fire up the software. So we're going to connect up to the software itself. And it pulls up all the parameters right now. Okay. This uh, runtime data up here, this is actually the runtime data passing between the router and the computer itself. So when, you, when you're around that 100 point, that's really strong. That's a, that, that's a good reading. And uh, it dials in over the Wi-Fi channels that are there between the router and the um, computer. So what we're talking about here is the generic port editor, which is located under the system button. We're going to have a whole ton of information coming out here regarding all these buttons here um, for your ignition settings, your traction control, individual cylinders, boost controllers, starting line transmission, data logger. It's all here. Um, we're just going to come out with some new videos regarding every one of them. So you'll see exactly how to work these guys. So what we want to talk about here is the generic port editor, okay? And what I want to do specifically is there's two stages of nitrous on this truck. So because I got two stages of nitrous, I want to simply test the relays that I have installed to make sure they're going to work okay. So in this section, you have output ports and port settings, okay? These output ports can be taken over for any reason whatsoever you specify. And the generic port editor itself has a higher priority than anything out in the system itself. So for example, I'm gonna be taking over this stage one and stage two low side, which is a ground, uh, a ground two, a ground output, I should say, at the ECU. This high side is 12 volt. So high side means 12 volt HS, low side means ground. So I'm gonna take over the stage one and stage two, and we're gonna activate those when the vehicle's not running, because I want to test them. I don't have to fire up the vehicle to actually test these relays. So I'll highlight the stage one low side. I'm going to click enabled, and you're going to have a power on value and an active value. The power on value is that when the active condition is met, okay, this output's going to do something. When the output is enabled, I want it to be off. I do not want it to provide a ground. You can have it do an on if you want. So when the output is actually enabled, which it's going to be right now after we configure this, it would provide a ground. So it just gives you the default state of the output, however you want to configure it. So in this case, I want the power and value to be off, so it's not going to provide the ground. But when I go active, I do want it to provide the ground on or off. The output channel it's going to look at right here is TPS filter. So inside the ECU, basically everything and anything you can choose from to actually run any output that you want to do. So wheel speeds, duty cycles, exhaust gas temperatures, fuel pressure, oil pressure, it doesn't matter what it is. You can pick it up and you can do something with it on the generic outputs, okay? So for this test, we're going to use the TPS filter itself, okay? And we're going to have some other thresholds and a hysteresis. So here, I'm going to look at either greater than, equal to, or less than. So for this first stage relay, I'm gonna want a 30% threshold. All threshold means is when do you want to activate? 
So in this case, I want it to be a 30% TPS we're going to go on. Hysteresis is 5%, which means that at 25%, I'm going to turn back off. So if that was 10, it would activate at 30, it would turn back off at 20. Okay, that's how that works. If you want to, you can add additional conditions. You can do an or statement or an and statement, and you can do that three more times. So you should be able to get whatever you want to get uh, accomplished within these parameters. Um, we haven't found one that we can't do yet, but you have plenty of parameters and plenty of outputs to choose from to do whatever you want to do. Now, again, this is, this is for the nitrous for this truck, but you could have this be a water pump. You could have this be some sort of dump valve. You can have this be some sort of water methanol, solenoid, lights. It doesn't matter. It, this is just providing a low side output itself, okay? And um, we have now you know, set this one up here. So if I come over here to stage two, I'm going to go enabled as well. So again, off, active value was on, TPS filter. In this case, though, I want to go greater than 50%. So stage two nitrous relay is going to click on a 50% hysteresis is five. And no additional conditions, not necessary for this test. Okay. I'm going to click burn. Okay. Now, very important for this step in the process. Okay. The ECU has taken this, but in order for this to actually uh, commit and go true in the ECU, you got to reboot it. You got to reboot the, uh, the uh, ECU itself so it actually burns into the actual processor saying, hey, I want to do this. It's not actually activated right now. So anything in, the, anything in the generic port editor or really anything here in the system tab, it's a very good idea to once you change some parameters inside here to cycle the ECU, um, that way it takes it. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to turn the ECU off. Now the ECU is going to go off. It's actually going to show offline. You see our value started, stopped updating. It's going to say, hey, I'm offline. All right, no big deal. So I'm going to turn the key back on. So we're going to come back over here. You don't have to do this, but we can just confirm that our settings are in there right now. And there they are. They're right there. So what I like to do here is go down to the nitrous tab. And, and what Big Stuff does, has done is John and, and the guys, they've done a great job. They've made all these tabs for us down here regarding all the points in the system and grouped them together in a real intuitive way. So fuel and spark, all your additive corrections, um, individual cylinders. I love the 85 tab because this will actually tell you what percentage ethanol you have, which we do run 80, 85 in this truck target lambdas, throttle percentages. It's it's all just grouped together really nicely. So I'm going to come down to the nitrous tab right here. And this is basically all of our nitrous stuff grouped together. Okay, if I was measuring bottle pressure, be right here, which I'm not. Which NOS stage is enabled. Okay, if nitrous is enabled, there's actually a switch right here on the dash for me. And that's how you configure it. So it's saying, hey, ECU, get ready. Nitrous is enabled once your parameters go. But remember, in this case, because the, the generic port editor is active, nitrous won't do anything. It will it will try to do something with those outputs, but it can't because the generic port editor has control of those first two stages. So I'm going to turn that back off, and we're going to come down here to throttle percentage, okay? And what I'm going to do is we're going to creep on the throttle, and we're going to get close to that 30% range, okay? There's 19, 25, 30. There's our first relay. You'll see down here the light came on. There's actually a series of lights down here um, that will turn on based on an output going on. So right now, first stage is on. Here's our second stage right next to it. I'm going to go up a little bit more, go to our 50. There you go. Heard the click. Nitro stage is on. Now, if I go back slowly, you'll see here that once I start going below 45, second stage is off. So if we were at 30 before, we were at 5% hysteresis, we should turn off around 25, right? And there it goes. So you've now uh, successfully tested those relays. You know that they work. Car doesn't have to be running. You can go back and forth, test them to your heart content, and they work just perfect. So uh, last step in doing this, you don't have to do this, obviously, if you're going to leave it like that. But you have to remember to go back in the generic port editor and just turn them back off. It's very simple. Just highlight it. Click enabled is off. 
click enabled as off or uncheck the boxes if you would and you're going to click burn close it out we're going to cycle the key okay we're going to come back on so we're back up and if i come over to my generic port editor you'll see that nothing's there. And if I go back to my TPS, nothing's happening. So now the nitrous stage outputs one and two are back to their default, which is running off of my nitrous stage parameters all inside here. And we're gonna have a whole nitrous video showing all the stuff works too. So hopefully you guys like the generic port editor. Um, again, a real simple glimpse of what's going on in here. This software is free for download. Go to uh, Bitcom Pro and download the Gen 4 uh, software. It's free for you guys. Go ahead, download it, play with it. If you want to log into my vehicle here and check it out live, uh, I do that quite a bit. I can show you how the software works with the real-time vehicle. Uh, it's really cool. It's fun to poke around and show you how it all works. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave that. And you guys have any questions, uh, send me an instant message or an email, and we'll talk. Ben at BigStuff3.com. Thanks.